Adopt Me has made a massive mistake, making the Emperor Gorilla worth nothing and also the astronaut gorilla, all because of a glitch that allowed players to duplicate pets. To get the emperor gorilla, players must combine three golden goblets and a regular gorilla, resulting in a regular emperor gorilla. And then typically to go and make a neon version of an emperor gorilla, you would then need four of the emperor gorillas, right? Which would mean you would need 12 of these goblets. And to get a goblet, you have to open it out of the premium gorilla box. Now, why is this glitch very annoying to me? Because I actually bought 100 of the premium gorilla boxes in attempt to go and get lots of these gorillas. And by the way, that cost me 19,500 Robux, which is the equivalent of spending $200 that's right, $200 got me three of these tiny little gorillas. So to go and get a Mega Neon, you would go and need 48 of those goblets. And the odds of going and getting a goblet is 5% on something that costs you $2 each to open. So this glitch has not only affected many players, it is also tricking and deceiving people into going and losing some of their rarest pets. Let me elaborate and explain how this glitch worked. This right here is a reborn neon gorilla. And believe it or not, you can actually go and turn any neon gorilla into whatever you want. Which means if you wanted to get the Neon Emperor Gorilla, all you do is bring your regular Neon Gorilla, speak to the person and transform it, and you now have a Neon Emperor Gorilla. Now, many people are saying, why is that an issue? Well, to go and get a Neon Emperor Gorilla, theoretically, you would have needed multiple of those goblets, which only have a 5% drop rate. So, how has this affected many players? Well, if you have a look, Lots of people now have Mega Neons of the Legendary, which was very easy to go and get. Now, why was it easy to go and get Mega Neons of it? Because to go and make a Mega Neon of a rare doesn't include many tasks, in comparison to also going and leveling up a Legendary. There's actually more tasks and it is hard to go and do. Therefore, making a Neon of a rare is like 10 times easier than making a Neon Legendary. So, first of all, you can make it a ton quicker, saving you lots of time. Which is why people were making Mega Neon regular gorillas, going up to an Emperor Gorilla, and transforming the Mega Neon Gorilla into a Mega Neon Emperor Gorilla. Which theoretically means you could go and get a Mega Neon Emperor Gorilla for the same cost as one regular Emperor Gorilla. Now I think you can see why this is starting to spark some issues. So, for the three regular Emperor Gorillas that I made myself and spent $200 on, I could have technically got three Mega Neons if I just abused this glitch. Now is Adopt Me going to go and do anything about it? I'm honestly not sure if they possibly could. Because half the people that went and got these Mega Neons absolutely absolutely knew that it was a glitch and they tried to trade them away. And since this is such an expensive pet, to go and get a Mega Neon version of it, you would need 48 goblets, which means on average you would have had to have purchased 960 of the premium boxes, which would have cost you $1,920 to go and get the Mega Neon's equivalent of the goblets. That's right, nearly £2,000 to get a Mega Neon Emperor Gorilla. Meanwhile, uh, people were getting it for pretty much really cheap. Now this also worked for the astronaut gorilla. It actually worked for every single type of gorilla, which is why you might be seeing tons of Mega Neon astronaut gorillas, tons of Mega Neon karate gorillas, and also lots of the Mega Neon emperor gorillas. So if you've ever wondered how someone was able to go and manage to get it so quickly, and why there are literally thousands of them, it might now explain. So am I angry? Yes, I guess so, because I spent a lot of money opening up in hopes to go and be able to make a neon one eventually. Meanwhile, someone could just go and get enough to make one and transform their regular Mega Neon Gorilla into this one. Now, Adomi has since patched this glitch, but they left it in game for about five days. And I think you can imagine how much havoc that had caused. Multiple days of a glitch means that there were multiple people abusing it which has resulted in hundreds, if not thousands, of the Mega Neon Emperor Gorillas in circulation. The sad thing is about this that somebody traded a Shadow Dragon for two Emperor Gorillas, 
which is basically the equivalent of trading a Shadow Dragon for just like two regular Mega Neon Gorillas, which really isn't a good trade, right? So there are lots of people who are getting deceived about this, and if a dummy does go and revert all of these Gorillas back to just a regular Mega Neon Gorilla, then obviously it's going to annoy many players, so I'm not sure the best way that a dummy can solve this issue. But let us know your ideas on how a dummy should go and fix this in the comments. Do you think they should go and refund everyone or give them something special based on how many premium gorilla boxes they purchased? Because if so, then I will definitely have a lot coming my way. There was a similar issue in the past which came with the release of the ice cream cone hat. There was a glitch displaying an inaccurate representation of hatching a legendary from the ice cream parlor. And because of that, they just gave us a little ice cream hat. So honestly, I'm not sure what they're going to do to try and make up to the people who have spent hundreds of dollars on this when I could have just spent a couple dollars and made a mega neon. The good news is that the albino gorilla has pretty high value as there was no way to go and duplicate that one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And there was also this other gorilla glitch which meant that players were hatching whatever pet they had equipped and it was displaying it instead of a gorilla. For example, this person hatched a Loch Ness monster instead of a gorilla. Click this video here to find out how you can trade from a dog to a Mega Neon Shadow Dragon in only 48 hours. It might just blow your mind.